Okay. Good day again, everyone. Uh, let us discuss now about the four branches of ballistics. First, we have the interior or internal ballistics. Internal ballistics is the study of the motion of the projectile while it is still inside the firearm, which extends from the bridge to the muzzle. Itong uh, internal ballistics, uh, ito yung mga mechanism o mga bagay na nangyayari sa loob ng firearm, sa loob ng baril. Uh, this includes the, the hammer hitting the, the firing pin. And the firing pin will hit the primer and the priming mixture will be ignited and then the priming mixture, the ignition of the priming mixtures will burn the gunpowder and it will produce the expansive force of gases and then uh, it will explode inside the cartridge case and that is now the time that, uh, that the cartridge case or the fired cartridge case and the fired bullet will, uh, the fired bullet will go forward and the fired cartridge case will go backward. That's why it will, again, the, the slide of the firearm will go backward and will get another cartridge. While the fired bullet, while, while uh, it is going forward, it, uh, it will turn into left or right twist depending on the design of the manufacturer. As you can see in the screen, if you are going to watch the animation, uh, you will be having more insights and explanation regarding the internal ballistics. And I encourage everyone to watch this animation so that you will have more insights and knowledge regarding the internal ballistics. Okay. Uh, this is about the ignition system. The, the two types of the primer. We have the boxer system and the bird burden system okay the boxer system is as you can see in the screen we have the priming mixture once the okay the priming mixture the primer foil the amber anvil I should say the primer cup that holds the priming mixture and the flash hole this is the gateway of the uh, ignition of the priming mixture so that it will burn the the gunpowder okay next is the burden primer okay we have also the primer cup that holds the priming mixture the primer or the priming primer mixture stake securing of primer and build in a burden type and we have the flash hole okay so that is the difference between the boxer primer and the burden primer let's go now to the second branch of ballistics exterior or internal exterior or external ballistic i should say exterior ballistics is the trip or is the study of the of the movement of the projectile after leaving the gun muzzle okay so this is the uh, as you can see in the screen we have the we have the barrel of the firearm and we have the fired bullet coming out from the muzzle of the gun okay the line this is now the, the line or the, the stationary line that you can see. That is the line of sight of the shooter. Okay. 
And that is the Bohr center line. And that is now the critical zone. Okay. And we have also the initial point and the trajectory of the bullet. Okay, trajectory is the curve path of the bullet. Okay. And uh, we have also the, from the muscle of the firearm to the target, that is what we call the accurate range. We have the accurate range. And from the muscle of the firearm to the farthest distance that can uh, go or the, that the bullet can go is what we call the maximum range. Okay. Okay. Let's go now to the third branch of ballistics, the terminal ballistics. Terminal ballistics is the study of the impact of the projectile to the target. So we have the two sample of, as you can see in the screen, we have the two samples of the bullet. We have the lead core bullet and the copper bullet. Kaya yung uh, uh, full metal jacket and the hollow point. Okay? Kapag ang ginamit na bala ay hollow point, pagpasok ng projectile sa target, is, uh, that's what we call the penetration, uh, the initial penetration. Pagka-penetrate ng hollow point, mag expand siya. And then, uh, magdi-disintegrate. Kaya magkakaroon ng mga bullet fragmentation. So, mas maraming sugat yung gagawin yung, yung hollow point. And then, uh, the, yung pinaka-main ng bullet is diridiretso siya. Makikita nyo siya doon sa itong uh, lighter portion. That's what we call the central cavity, yung sugat. No, yung sentro na sinugat na ginawa ng uh, hard bullet na yan. Okay. We have also the full metal jacket. Parehas yung initial penetration nila. And parehas na mag expand siya. Pero, pag full metal jacket, hindi nag-disintegrate yung bala. Kaya yung, uh, yung jacket ng bullet. Okay. Diridiretso siya. Pero, magkakaroon siya ng temporary cavity, yung mga sugat, yung uh, darker portion ng, uh, na nandiyong makikita nyo sa picture. And then, as it travels inside target, it increases the penetration. Okay? So, that is the, uh, the action made by the fired bullet inside the target. That is the terminal ballistics. And we have now the number four branch of ballistics, the forensic ballistics. It is the study of firearms identification and investigation by means of ammunition fired through them. It also deals with the principles in the microscopic and macroscopic examination of firearms evidence and the preparation of reports for legal proceedings in the solution of cases involving firearms. So, the fourth branch of ballistics is the study of firearms identification. So, we are going to identify what type and make of the firearms. We, we cannot, it's very difficult for us to identify the type and make of the firearms if there is no fired bullet so we can we can uh, or fired cartridge case we can identify the types the types and make of or we may identify the types and make of the firearm by means of ammunition 
transpired through them. Okay, uh, I have more discussion regarding that when we go to the seven challenges in firearms identification and investigation. It also deals with the principle in the microscopic and macroscopic examination of firearms evidence. Okay, so uh, after test firing of the firearm, you pag tinignan mo when we when the firearm examiner use the mic the bullet comparison microscope, uh, you can see all the uh, minute details of the uh, fired bullet and the fired cartridge cases. Okay, by using the bullet comparison microscope. And the preparation of reports for legal proceedings. So after the examination of the specimens, the fired bullet, the fired cartridge case, both evidence and the evidence uh, specimen and the test specimens, okay, the next step is to prepare reports for legal proceedings. Okay, uh, whatever the findings of the firearm examiner will be reduced into report and submit it to the uh, requesting party or the local police who requested the uh, the examination of the firearms and then it will be submitted to the court of justice and that is now the time when the court of justice will subpoena or will call the attention of the firearm examiner to testify in the court of justice regarding his examination of the uh, specimens. Remember that uh, the forensic ballistics relies heavily on pieces of evidence such as fired bullet, fired cartridge case, gunpowder residue, suspected firearm, and others recovered from the crime scene. Whatever, whatever specimens recovered from the crime scene is very vital in investigation. Thank you.